This is a Netgear C3000. Uh, in this video, I'm going to try to access the flash memory of this modem. So in order to open this case, we have two screws. One is here and one is here. So let's remove it. So have the cable on this side, press We have the back cover removed. There are two flash here. One is the NAND flash. This is one gigabyte and there is an additional SPI flash, which is 512, kilo, uh, 512 kilobyte. Some websites say this is one meg, but in my case, this is a 512. So I'm going to make a XML for this chip as well as this chip. I also measured the 3.3 volt from the, uh, the consume of the flash 3.3 volt here only takes about 100 milliseconds. So it's very safe to use the uh, power from the U-Link on this side or U-Link NAND on this chip. Now there is this too little space here to access the NAND flash. So I'm going to take this board a little bit up and move a little this way so we can clip on this chip properly. So in order to, in order to access the the SPI flash of, of here, uh, what I make is very simple connection. I take off the the plastic here and use the measure tape, the plastic tape here. So I only connect the pin one, pin two, and pin four on the side, and pin eight, pin five, and pin six. TD, uh, uh, this is DI clock, 3.3 volt from the U-Link and ground, then the CS and the DO. So to make the proper connection, uh, we only need to clip on like so. Let's go to the software and make the XML for it. This is in the software. I'm going to create a new target for new target XML. And this is modem. We are going to copy from, let's say from 5102, which is SPI flash. We call this net gear C3000 SPI. And the size will be we call this, rename this as SPI, and the size is only 512. So this will be 8000. So let's click OK. And then we select the target, uh, go from here, say SPI flash, and say Netgear here. And I'm going to create a folder from here. Um, and I make a folder here, new. We call C3000. Select. So I'm going to detect flash. Oh, I have. I need to turn on. And now I can detect flash, and read back. So this is the data. 
Uh, let's read it one more time, verify it. It's okay. So now let's save the flash called SPI. And let's try to erase it. And see if we erased everything. Yes, we do. And we can put it back. So, right. And let's compare it. Yeah, so we were able to read and write the flash of this particular modem. Now let's make the flash for the NAND. Let's power off. Okay, so go here and a new target. This will be, uh, this will be here. We can call this Netgear C3000 NAND. And it has the same size as the uh, this modem, so it's also one gigabyte. And let's call this and and let's power off, and we can select the target for land. Okay, let's config. See if the give power, everything seems to be normal. Let's hook this up. Okay, first of all, we unplug this side, remove it. Now it's the U-Link NAND here. We need to attach the chip here. By the way, this is pin one here and pin one match here. So let's power this on. Let's see if we can detect flash. Yes, we do. So now let's read the NAND flash. By the way, we need to go here, go to the file, and by setting ourselves to here, initialize, detect, read. This will take a while, and we can relax. So with one software, we are able to, uh, but two different hardware, we were able to access both the SPI flash and uh, NAND flash. By the way, I measured the 3.3 volt from uh, here, only draw 100 milliamps, both to the Ulink NAND or Ulink NT. So it's safe to use the power directly from the, uh, the Ulink NAND or Ulink flash. You can only do one at a time. You cannot do like SPI and NAND at the same time. Don't try to do that.
looks like most of the flash is empty. Okay, we take about two, two and a half minutes to read one gigabyte. So let's save it. Uh, because this is NAND, I would prefer to do one more read before I try to program it. So I'm going to verify, see if there's any big things wrong. Oh, sorry, I was wrong. This is not one gigabyte. This is one gigabit, which is 128 uh, megabyte. Looks like we have a good read here so far. Otherwise, we would have seen here errors. Perfect. We have read twice the 128 meg of the NAND flash and they compare fine. So now I'm going to try to erase the flash. And it's done. So let's try to compare the first. I think it will fail because it's, we just compare the first few. Uh, yeah, so it's erased. Let's program back. Beginning here, so try it. The erase takes very uh, quickly, and the write speed is about half a meg per second. Uh, half a meg per second, so it will take about five minutes to program. Let's see. Uh, because of the uh, smart programming, it may take faster because of the majority of the flash is empty. So. Oh, it's finished. It only take 22 seconds because only a very small portion of this one has the data and the rest will be empty. So that's why it only take 22 seconds to program, but it takes about you know, two and a half minutes to compare. So let's compare one more time.
because the bottom half of the flash is empty. So after compare more than half of it, I'm pretty sure the programming is succeeded. Okay, we successfully programmed the NAND flash. So for this mode in Netgear C3000, we are able to access the SPI flash using Unink NT and the uh, NAND flash 128 megabyte of NAND flash using the Unink NAND.